Hey guys, so as promised, here is my top shelf. I actually have four. This is a bookshelf. So there's one, two, three, four, and then the bottom are like extras, backups, and samples. So today I'm going to pull all these off the shelf and I'm going to give you the scent notes for these. Um, so yeah, um, let me get situated and I'll be right back. Okay, so, hi, welcome back. Um, so I have everything off that top shelf taken down and it is sitting in front of me. So um, I'm not gonna, like, if I have a whole lot of information on these, then I will tell them to you. Um, otherwise, I'm just gonna like read you off the scent notes and what I think about it. I know I'm a little, a little cockeyed here. Hold on. Sorry, I have you guys like on, on my bed. So, welcome to my bed. Okay. Um. So first things first. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna grab. So. I have um from Guerlain. This is Spiritus Double Vanille. This one is a really nice. Um, I, I've worn the crap out of this. It's a nice vanilla. Um, the Spiritus, there's nothing um, boozy about it. I know some people think that the Spiritus means there's a spirit note in here, but there's not. This is incense, pink pepper, bergamot, cedar, ylang ylang, um, Bulgarian rose, jasmine, vanilla, and benzoin. So you guys know I'm not a huge floral person in my perfumes uh, or, or in even my home fragrance, but sometimes it can't be helped and sometimes it's to add a different element to it. So I'm fine. I just don't like a, a floral forward heavy, unless it's Jasmine. Jasmine's about the only one that I can tolerate and that I do enjoy. I, there's a couple in here that are Jasmine forward in my whole collection. There's not a whole lot. You will notice most of it is, um, sweet and vanilla. There's going to be in vanilla in most of these. So anyways, that's, that's what this one is. So the house of your lawn, this one. So with this particular bottle, you can choose the color of your top. You can choose the color of this ribbon and I don't know if you're going to be able to see it, but, oh yeah, you're going to be able to see it. So Mike actually got this for me and that's, he calls me baby girl. So there's that. He was able to get that inscribed. Super pretty. I still have the box up there cause I can't get rid of it. Um, so this is not overly sweet though. Surprisingly enough, I still really enjoy this. I think it's because the vanilla, the benzoin, um, and the jasmine. I really do appreciate this fragrance. Um, like I said, I do, I do wear it a lot. You guys, one of the things that, um, I have started to do, not started to do, but since COVID is... Um, not saving my perfumes, not saving to wear them for a special occasion because we don't go out as much as we used to when we were younger. Um, we're a little more, I don't know, we just hang out here more. So I don't save these perfumes for a special occasion or a black tie affair or um, I wear these when I want to wear them. There are some days where I feel like wearing 
Baccarat Rouge 540 and I will spray the heck out of myself and that's what it's there for. It's there to be enjoyed when you want to enjoy it, not saving for a special occasion. Well, for me, I have enough fragrance that I, oh God, that just sounds really bad. Okay. I, I don't mean for it to sound like, oh, I have all this fragrance. I can do what I want. That's not at all. What I'm trying to say is do not you don't know if tomorrow's going to show up or not. You don't know what tomorrow's going to happen. COVID has shown us that. The world can lock down. You can lose people. You can get sick. Um, the government can say, guess what? You ain't leaving your house. And you know what? Sometimes the fragrance can help you through a day. And that's what I'm trying to say is if I want to wear something, I'm going to wear it. So I'm not going to wait for a certain special occasion. Anyways, welcome to my long intro on one perfume. So Spiritus Double Beneath. Next one. Um, this is from the house of EBK. There you go. So this is a French house. In order to order this, you have to go on to their Instagram and you have to, um, they do have their perfumes on the, on the Instagram. And I, if I remember correctly, they have what these are, um, what they represent or what the inspiration of these fragrances are. Um, these are basically, so these are basically sold at really at high end like yacht clubs and um, like niche um, hotels. That's where they're sold. You can purchase them. You just have to go to their Instagram and message them and then they will send you a bill. I promise you it's real. I know it's scary, but it's real. Anyways, this is EBK. This is Deep in Desire, Deep in Desire Yacht. This one is, now I, the, the front of the notes are not my favorite. And this one, I mean, you can see I've had this for about three years. This one I struggle with. I struggle with this one a lot because of the, um, because of the top notes. Once I get to the mid and bottom notes, I, I'm okay with it, but it's just getting through the top notes that kind of, uh, it's, it's kind of a work for me. So, um, I, I don't know. Part of me wants to declutter this and part of me just really wants to hold on to it because like I said, I love the mid and bottom notes. So top notes it, so you got grapefruit peel, bergamot, um, camellia, grapes, hazelnut, pink pepper, dark chocolate and cedar. Um, camellia, I think that was an herb. I looked it up and I forgot my, I forgot my notebook. Um, but this is a sweet one. Um, sometimes that grape can be a little cloying, but that hazelnut and the dark chocolate, I mean, you would think like grape, hazelnut, dark chocolate, like, does it even go? It does go. It's a beautiful scent, but it's definitely one not one for the faint of heart. Let's just put it that way. So there's that. And then, um, they sent a sample. This one is, um, Oh my God, I can't read it. This is a uh, root. Hold on. It's the reflection that gets me every single time. So Ruby and vanilla, this one is also one where I have to get through the top note, but every time I wear this, it is so freaking pretty. It's, it's not sweet. It's so pretty. So, um, tangerine patchouli. So patchouli I like and don't like bergamot, Madagascar, vanilla, amber, guaiac wood. So guaiac wood is also an oud. 
um, almond, sandalwood, and musk. So this is a really sexy perfume and that vanilla and the oud are freaking stunning. So freaking pretty. So pretty, but there you go. So there's that. Get my head out of the way. Next on the list is Ex Idolo. This is Love and Crime. So this bottle was inspired by a couple in 1901. Um, basically, uh, the husband was in prison and the wife baked a cake. Um, and he was going to saw his way out. She like baked, baked the tool inside of the cake. This is pink pepper, red mandarin, um, feminine florals, sugar, star anise, cocoa, and vanilla sponge cake. So this is a decadent, sweet, um, almost, almost gives me like a, um, a, not a key lime, uh, like a lemon meringue vibe. There's this, did I say mandarin? Yeah, mandarin. So the mandarin has the citrus note and it's so beautiful with that vanilla sponge cake. So the rest of these are there to kind of ground, to, to ground it out. So this is a beautiful, beautiful fragrance. Um, yes, it is a small, this is the biggest bottle it comes in and it's like a hundred and some odd dollars, but it's so worth it. You are like a tasty snack. When you wear this this is a nice sweet um but um not not in a um in an immature and in, in an adolescent kind of way this is not your pink sugar this is a really elevated um especially with the star anise and the florals in there as well so anyways there you go there's that so real quick what actually got me on this journey, what threw me down the rabbit hole and all of these fragrances, I've worn fragrances a lot, but it was just kind of like, oh, what, whatever was in the store, whatever I saw at Macy's, whatever was gifted to me or whatever samples that I got, that's what I wore. The majority of what I wore what is from the body shop and as you can see there's only just a little bit left so I got this on 20 28 years ago August 26th 28 years ago my husband and I had our honeymoon in Boston and I went to we went to the body shop and they had this vanilla fragrance oil And I saw, you know, I, I'm running out. There's only that little bit left and I refuse to use it until I can find one that mimics this a hundred percent. And I have looked, I have gone back to the body shop for this vanilla. I have ordered vanilla perfumes. This actually was the perfume I purchased it's fantastic but it lasts like three minutes it's beautiful it's seven bucks and it lasts three minutes so I looked online best vanilla perfumes and the rabbit hole opened up and then there was YouTube and I fell and I just went crazy on YouTube with all these perfume videos and hence here we are so this <laughs> I I really this is this is like it it's almost like a, a Madagascar vanilla extract but there's a richness to it. There's a deepness to it. And I cannot find a perfume for the life of me. This is a perfume oil. So this lasts 
all day and I cannot find one that's like I, I can't find it so I refuse to use the very last bit of it this will stay in forever and ever amen until I die so gateway into some of these vanilla perfumes that I have purchased so there is this is serendipitous by serendipity 3 is that you can tell it's a beautiful vanilla fragrance I love all these so this is cocoa Tahitian vanilla and blood orange that is it this is a this is a beautiful sweet vanilla um, the cocoa that blood orange it really helps um, hold up. I got these guys it really helps um, to kind of ground out Oh, it's so pretty that the vanilla stunning and that cocoa I, I just keep saying it vanilla cocoa blood orange it's so pretty this is a nice sweet beautiful fragrance once again you guys um, it this is not a um, pink sugar by most of, I, I love a sweet perfume but I also want it to be a mature perfume and I want it also to be taken taken not not that you're not taken seriously because a lot of pink sugar is a beautiful really sweet fun girly perfume but there's something a little more elevated with what I want I, I want something not with what I want I want something a little more elevated I I'm just trying to like not offend anyone because like I said pink sugar is a fun there's a time and place for pink sugar trust me I wore the crap out of that when I was in high school um, but for me I just want for right now where I'm at I just I want that sweetness but I want it kicked up a notch okay so this is from Hilde Solani Hilde Solani perfumes um, this is crema de latte or cream of milk this is milk sugar and vanilla so that's what the bottle looks like and I think the label has changed I think it will say cream of milk on it this one this because of the milk is going to be um, much more lactonic than what I just sprayed yeah this almost has a um, almost gives me like a coconut milk vibe like a sugared coconut milk this is also fun like this is one in the summer if you just want to smell like you just dipped yourself in one of those um, like the coconut popsicles <laughs> before it was frozen you just decided to take a dip it's kind of what that smells like All right, and Chibald by, um, oh my gosh, this cursive writing, cursive and small writing. Um, Chibald by um, Maison de Perfume. This is Lot de Vanilla, so milk of vanilla, vanilla milk. Another one. So vanilla milk is what it's called, is the English term. This is milk, sugar, vanilla. Um, benzoy so um, a benzoy not benzoin it's a like a chocolate balsamic vibe so it's gonna give you this added sweetness and richness and then vanilla and caramel and this one also definitely has a lactonic vibe to it 
I dropped it. <laughs> but this one is not there. I don't, I'm not picking up any coconut vibes. Um, it's just a sweet vanilla. And that chocolate balsamic is just adding, like I said, a, a depth and a richness to it. Yeah, really nice. Okay, so from Royal Crown, these are some of my favorite perfumes. I had to get these on, was it Lucky Scent? I don't remember the website. I do not get them straight from the source. These are $800 bottles and up. I don't get them at that price, you guys. Trust me. But I love them. Um, so we have Oud Jasmine. I mean, look at that bottle. How stunning is that? So this is an Italian house. This one is upside down. So ylang ylang, clove, cardamom, need my glasses. Um, jasmine, sandback, tuberose, agarwood, cedar, Moroccan rose, ambergris, oud, benzoin, vetiver, and musk. So this is a... Oh my God. This is a, this is Jasmine. This is a deep, you are, you have dived into the Jasmine bush. You know, sometimes when, especially in the evening and you smell this Jasmine and it is like strong. That's what this is. This is just, you've taken that jasmine leaf and you have, you have rubbed it through your fingers and you have just like put it all over your body. This is so freaking pretty. This can be, I would say one or two sprays of this and you are good. This, this could be very, very cloying and almost headache inducing if you spray way too much. So that's also the trick with some of these perfumes is figuring out how much do I spray? I have a piece of hair. I can feel it. Um, so trying to figure out how much to spray this one, this is a two sprayer. You are spraying it on your wrist or you are spraying it like right here so that when you're moving around, you can smell it and other people can smell it. But, ooh, this could be, oh, but it's so pretty. I love Jasmine. Oh, my gosh. It's so pretty. All right. Oud Jasmine. And that Oud just adds this really nice sweetness to it. Next one is called Isabella. This bottle. Look at that. Look at that bottle. Oh, oh, oh. Yes, I got it mainly for the bottle because it's pink. However, it does smell really pretty. So this one is another one that kind of shocked me. This is Bulgarian Rose, Neroli, Orange Blossom, Peach, Tuberose, Ylang Ylang, Iris, Madagascar Vanilla, Mysore sandalwood. So Mysore sandalwood, um, has this, um, has this ex like sweetness to it. Um, and then amber and cinnamon. So when I smell it, I, did I say pink pepper? I, when I smell this, I feel like I'm picking up pink pepper and that's not at all. There's no pink pepper on here. Yeah, there's no pink pepper on here and this is one of the ones, this is one where there's a lot of floral in here. 
that rose, the neroli, like the florals are, hello, I'm floral. And then as it dries down, tuberose has a, can have this bubblegum scent. Um, so, so as it's drying down, I do pick up the sweetness of the tuberose. The ylang ylang can have a banana scent to it. Um, yeah, so this is, I, I like this, but to be honest, <laughs> I shouldn't, to be honest, I have it just because of the bottle. I, I don't, I've worn this, I'm going to say probably three times in the three years that I've had this. So, um, yeah, <laughs> it's, it's, um, yeah, but this bottle, you guys, I mean, come on, what the frick? <sighs> I know, I know. Okay. My favorite one. I have three, I have three round croils, croil, Royal Crowns Sultan is my most favorite. It, this is, I mean, what? So this one, I wish, I wish I had a flashlight because this is actually a, a really beautiful green. Um, oh man, I wish you could see it. No, you can't see it. I can see it from here, but you can't see it. So Sultan's one of my absolute favorites. Um, oh my God, it's so pretty. So this one is Madagascar vanilla, dates, fluffy or fluffy, fruity notes, cedar, labdamum, Moroccan rose, jasmine, myrrh, sandalwood and saffron. So this vanilla lasts from beginning to end. This vanilla is going to stay on your skin, but this is just a, it's not a sweet vanilla, but it is a, such a sexy, cozy, snuggly vanilla. Absolutely. One of my favorites. I have a, um, I decanted this in a, in a small travel and it's always, always in my bag because it's one of my go-tos. Oh, when I first smelled this on a tester, um, I got it. Was it through lucky scent? I think it was through lucky scent. I smelt this in a small tester and it brought tears to my eyes. just something about this. My, my soul said, absolutely, absolutely. I'm yours. I love this. So Sultan. <sighs> okay. So now we're getting into house of Sil Sil Oh my gosh. House of Silage. One of my very first ones is called benevolence. So I sent a, um, I sent one, a small little, um, travel to Chris from dazzling sense with Chris and Anya. So, um, I wanted to read you guys the notes, but this is a, if also a beautiful one. So we call these cupcakes. So in perfume world, these are called cupcakes and you can see why. Um, these are Swarovski crystals and what people do is when they're done with this, they keep this as just little mementos on the inside. You can see, there you go. Hold on. Cats. Cat wants in. Hold on. Okay. Um, so Benevolence is, this one is bitter almond, star anise, bergamot, orange blossom, jasmine, lavender, sugar, Madagascar vanilla, and musk. This is a beautiful almond. 
almond, vanilla. I don't pick up any of the jasmine. There's a little, I do pick up a little bit of the orange blossom. And that musk is there to just add a depth to it. Um, so that's what that is. Ben there you go. Benevolence. House of Silage. Silage. Cupcake. Um, okay, while I was up, I did grab a flashlight. So let's see if we can. Can you see that? See how it's a green bottle. Oh, it's stunning. Oh my gosh, I love it so much. Okay. There's that. Okay, next on the list is this is the um, Batman. See the bats on there and the Swarovski crystals. This one is a little heavier. I've only worn this a couple times because I'm waiting for it. It has definitely changed from when I first got it. So this is pear leaf, candy apple, magnolia, cashmere, tonka bean, jasmine, vetiver, musk, amber, oak moss, and patchouli. So this is a little heavier. This is like a men's, it has that men's cologne vibe to it. And I don't know if it's the vetiver on here that's doing it. Yeah, it's definitely a, a heavier one. And this is one like, oh, that has really matured since when I first smelt it, when I first got it. There is that sweetness of the candy apple, which I can appreciate. Picking up a little of the jasmine, but there's not a whole lot of sweetness. Okay. So this is not an overly, this is not a sweet candy apple perfume at all, but it is a, this can lean, this is unisex. And if Mike and I were to go out, he could wear it and I could wear it and it would be beautiful. Well, hello, Leo, Mr. Chickens. Leo the lion. Hmm. He's our he's our scaredy cat. That's why we kind of make fun of him. We call him the lion. Leo the lion. Um, okay, so next one is Wonder Woman. So they had two, it's the same fragrance, but two two bottles. So the first one I got, this was when the movie 19, 1980 Wonder Woman or something came out. So there's that. How fun is that? Super pretty. And then they came out with an anniversary one. And let me make sure I have it. And then there's that. So if you see, it looks like she's got a crown on the top of her head here and she's looking up. So that's that. So they're both the same fragrance, just different collector item cupcake tops didn't need it but this is actually a really nice fragrance this one is uh, this is bergamot divana pink pepper raspberry orris caramel jasmine vanilla musk and amber and this one is there's a slight sweetness to it I'm just trying to reach for more of these. There's a slight sweetness to it, but it's not. Um, this is a really nice everyday. Oh, 
white t-shirt and jeans or dressed up for work. Um, oh, so pretty. And I'm glad I have two of them. You guys, I, I wear the crap out of this. You, you can't, I don't, I haven't used from this one yet, but I have from this and you, you, you can't really tell I've used a crap ton of it, but I have. This is so pretty. This is just, like I said, a really pretty vanilla. It's not sweet, but it's, um, it's feminine. That raspberry is beautiful in here. So pretty. So Wonder Woman, House of Silage. Um, okay, so then we have the Mickey Mouse. There's that. So Mickey Mouse. This was my first Disney one. This is cardamom, bergamot, mandarin orange, coconut milk, orange blossom, cacao, sandalwood, vanilla, tonka bean, and amber. Oh my God, this is just, this is a beautiful, this is, you are getting the coconut milk, you're getting the tonka bean, you're getting the vanilla. Mmm. Also, an everyday, all the time, t-shirt and jeans. This is a really beautiful, creamy coconut, coconut um, vanilla. So nice. A lot of fun. I think they still have this on House of Silage. Silage. And my favorite out of this is... The Minnie Mouse. Look how cute she is. And as you could tell, I have worn, I have worn her quite a few times. So she is super sweet and super delicious, actually. Oh. This is marshmallow, whipped cream, raspberry, caramel, coconut, vanilla, musk, and cedar. Mmm. So good. So good. I, um, I'm almost tempted to go get another one of these because these are limited edition. These have been out for a while. I think this has been out two years or so, maybe three years two years. Um, I love this so much. And if I were to run out of this, I would be really sad if I didn't have a backup. I, it's so sweet. This is just, this is one that, um, I do like to wear when I go to Disney because it's not heavy. It's just bright and sweet and fun. Um, that cedar and that must kind of help ground it a little bit. I say that a lot. Uh, but oh, you guys, <laughs> one of my favorites. Okay. Next one. This is an Italian house. This is Simone and Andrioli. Um, this is called glaze ecstasy. So this one is vanilla cream apricot, glazed raspberries, and warm caramel. It's not, this does dry down a little softer. Not, it, this is not a sickly sweet. Those are, I don't think they've listed all the notes that are in here because there's more to it than just that. Also a really, really pretty one. This is fun um, if you want to smell like a nice snack. Um, in the summer, in the winter, doesn't matter. I would wear this whenever. Um, this is one I would wear in the summer. This is called Sunsplosion. My L has kind of clicked off. Um, this is Aloha State of Mind, also from the same, from Simone Andrioli. 
This is um, lime, mango pulp, guava, coconut water, hibiscus, and white sandalwood. So if it weren't for the sandalwood, I would not get this. Because this can be, and it has sometimes for me, when I put it on, been a little um, sharp and scratched. You guys know how I feel about fruits. Um, in my home fragrance, I'm the same way in my my perfume. is I like the fruit, but I need it to be with um, something creamy or woody to kind of um, bring it down and not be so scratchy. I, I do not like a scratchy, overly um, perfume. But this is really nice. I have obviously worn this a few times. Um, and if it weren't for that sandalwood, I wouldn't be wearing it at all. Okay, this is Mazel Mazalari. Um, Mazalari Vagni, Venegia. It's kind of hard to see. There you go. That's what that is. This one is vanilla, caramel, and orchid. So, as you can see, I do have a backup of this. Also, a really nice vanilla. Um, that orchid is not, I think that orchid is just there as a base to, um, give that vanilla something to that vanilla and caramel something to grab onto if that makes sense so that it's not overly just spray it again yeah it's really um and this one i do have to spray a lot of but i have had this for like four years And I, so perfumes the same way as your wax. You don't want it in direct sunlight. This is not in direct sunlight. I do have my windows open so you can see me, but typically I only have like a slit in my window or in my curtains. Um, we try and keep our room pretty dark. We are, we're in a new house. <clears throat> well, October 31st, it'll be seven years. But our trees haven't grown tall enough. We're on the second story where we get shade up here. So we try and keep it nice and cool up here anyways. But so these are typically not in direct sunlight and heat. All right. Um, so another House of Guerlain. This one, um, I heard a rumor that they are going to be bringing this back. This one I had to email a store in France to have it delivered. I was put on the waiting list and then when it came in it was delivered. You guys, super heartbroken. So it came in with a travel bottle and it came in with a big bottle. This was empty but this is like a travel, but the big bottle was stunning and the top of it I did something and the top of it broke so I had to search on eBay for perfume bottles so then this so I, I took that big perfume and I put it in here and I put it in here it is the same perfume bottle or the same perfume so this is um, House of Guerlain this is a Stunning. It is coming back. I don't know the name of it though. Um, this is dark chocolate, cocoa, rum, vanilla, spices, rose, and pepper. This is decadent and sexy and spicy. Not spicy, spicy, but just that booziness. The pepper, you can smell the pepper, but it's it's just there to um, it's just there to just round out the edges a little. It's so weird. It's you would think the pepper would give it the edge. This is 
so freaking pretty so pretty if um i will i will um i have it in my notebook of what it's it's supposed to come back in december and i wrote down the name i i don't have it in my head but i did write down the name of what the new name is going to be this is like um coquine something it's the other one's going to be just this really short name and easy to pronounce so um yeah i will i will link this because i think everyone needs it there's a reason why they brought it it was discontinued for a while you couldn't get it here in, in the united states people were selling bottles for like thousands of dollars um and then someone messaged me and told me that um if i um there's a store in france that will ship it to the united states and huh saved me nine hundred and some dollars so there's that okay so that's what these two are okay but while i was searching for that there is a dupe house and it's um juliana's perfume this is called call me by your name so this is also a really nice one as well. This one is chocolate, pink pepper, vanilla, amber, jasmine, brown sugar, labdanum, benzoin, and musk. So this is a good dupe. There's um, obviously with, with all dupes, when you have the original, you can tell the difference. You know there's, there's something slightly different about it. But this chocolate, this is fun. This is one. Um, that the rum's not in here, so I think um, the other one has the rum, and um, yeah. So I think the brown sugar is kind of they're trying to replace the rum with the brown sugar. But this is still really nice. This is a fun, um, this is a fun dupe, and I'm super glad I have that one. Okay, next one is from the House of Inicio. This is called High Frequency. This is a nice purple bottle. This one is um, Magnolia, Jasmine, Almond, and Musk. So also a really nice Jasmine. Magnolia I can do as well. So this one's a sweeter than the starts off sweeter than the Oud Jasmine. Oh, it's so pretty. Um, and because I appreciate it because of the almond in here. So some people say it kind of reminds them of this guy right here. You guys don't know this is hypnotic poison by Dior um, people say it kind of reminds them of that and I can see that because of the almond in here and the way the jasmine is but this is so pretty this is also a really nice one um, one of my other all-time favorites I have I'm almost done with this I have a backup of it think goodness try and grab the flashlight sorry let's see if we can see can I see no we can't see no we can't see I can hardly see anyways yeah I can feel I'm all I'm almost done with this one um, this one is um, white flowers, so probably um, magnolia and jasmine again, amber, vanilla, musk, and colostrum. I think that's oh, ca castorium. So castorium is from beavers. It's a uh, it's like an extract from beavers. It's it's not that kind of extract, but um, also so freaking pretty 
and it's almost like an aphrodisiac whenever i wear this i always 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 get compliments always um mike loves this on me that's why it's almost it's i don't think there's hardly any i don't think there's anything left you guys maybe maybe a smidge maybe a spray or two but i i do have a backup so um Lo every time I wear this, like I said, I get a compliment. It is a vanilla. It is, it's not, it's not a sweet bakery vanilla. And the, the jasmine in here is just to, um, uh, I don't know what the jasmine's in there for. All I know is that I love this. Whatever. This is stunning. Okay, next is how the house. Oh my god, my brain. <gasps> this is T H O O, or the House of Oud. Look at these guys. Look at this work of art, you guys. How pretty is that? So this comes off, and there's your spray. Okay, so this one is called Dates Delight. So this is dates, peony, cinnamon, caramel, tonka bean. Um, dang, eyesight. Um, Kumarin, honey, sugar, vanilla, benzoin, and labdanum. Lab, labdanum. Also, this is sexy. This is sweet, but oh, this is so sexy. I the dates in here, um, almost, almost incensey, but the way the um, because of I I think because the vanilla in here. Oh, I, I'm at a loss for words for this one. I really like this one. This one to me is just, I don't think I would wear this in the summer though, because this is, this is dark and sweet and just, mm, that's what that is. All right. My second one from the house of Oud, one of my all time favorites as well. This one is I'm okay on this one. Thank goodness. Um, this one is what about pop? So this is popcorn, caramel, hawthorn, whipped cream, Madagascar vanilla, night blooming, Sirius, ebony, benzoin, musk, ambergris, and Madagascar vetiver. Yeah. Madagascar vetiver. So Oh, it's so good. This is such a, um, like this is, oh, it's, I love this one. This is popcorn and caramel, but with just a, mm, like this is one. movie night in the movie room and I'm snuggling with Mike mm-hmm oh this is just a mm -hmm. I am snuggly I smell like a snack that's what that is all right another snacky one which I do not have a backup of this one and I should get one. This is Aqua di Forma. This one is, um, Mandor Mandorlo of S Sicilia. This one reminds me of root beer when I smell it. It's root beer. -y. It's like a root beer candy. Nothing root beer in here though. So this one is green almond, anise, um, orange, bergamot, 
white peach, ylang ylang, jasmine, bourbon vanilla, tolu. Um, tolu is, it's, um, it's a, oh man, what is it? Um, they use it, it they use it for in medicinal, I think. Um, balsam, white musk, and cedar. Root beer. This is fun. This is also one that I wear when I go to Disney, um, just because it's just so fun and it's non-offensive. I'm not going to like choke anyone out, but I'm going to smell fantastic. Oh, so good. Mm. All right. This is BDK perfumes. This is called Rouge Smoking. So this one is cherry, pink pepper, bergamot, black vanilla husk, heliotrope, orange blossom, tonka bean, cashmere wood, white musk, and broxen and violet. So, um, oh, so pretty. That cherry is just, it, it, there's nothing medicinal, sour candy, um, pie feeling about this. This is a sexy, sexy cherry. Also one, when I wear it, my husband, my, Mike just like, mm, smell good. I like this one. Um, I like this. So lost cherry is a different vibe than this. However, um, I like this one because it doesn't get lost. Lost Cherry, I'm not spending three, four hundred dollars on a small bottle for me to wear it and not smell it. I I just I, I cannot stand by that. It's a beautiful scent for two seconds. And then I, I I'm just not spending that kind of money. With this one, I get much longer wear on that. And, um, I like, I like this one a little, I like this one better. So, mm, so good. Um, and next one is Epico. This is calm, Epico calm emotion. So this is Vanny Chanel, Vanny Chanel. Look at this bottle, you guys, how freaking pretty is that? So this one is candied fruits, fruity notes, lemon, peach blossom, white flowers, vanilla, caramel, benzoin, and must. Do you guys see a recurring theme here? So my problem is, is I want all, it's like the, it's like my wax collection. You know, how many pumpkin scents with cinnamon and booziness can you get? like the with fragrance as well mm. oh my gosh this is so good this is so good I've kind of I've made a nice little dent in that um, this is a beautiful vanilla it is not um, not anything too serious it's not not serious it's not um, you don't have to overthink it at all. Um, oh, it's so pretty. Um, I can smell, I can get the caramel in here there. I do pick up the fruity notes and the florals. You guys, I'm hard. I, I don't really smell the florals in here, but I, I, that's okay because it's not, um, that's not what this is this is a vanilla perfume so all right I got four more this one is this is um, La Nuit Tresor this one they don't you have to get this one on um, fragrance by I think fragrance by because um, they don't I don't think they sell this in the stores anymore and um, this one I'm sometimes in, I do have a backup I'm sometimes in the mood for it and I'm sometimes not in the mood for it. 
So as you can tell, I have put a nice little dent in there. So this one is red currant, pear, pink pepper, bergamot, damask rose, violet peony, jasmine, bourbon vanilla, tonka bean, benzoin, nutmeg, patchouli, and wood. Um, yeah, there are some times when I, I spray this on, I'm like, Ugh, oh my God, why do I wear this? And then there are other times where I just crave the heck out of this. So I don't know. I, I think I have two backup bottles on this because I freaked out because it's not sold in stores anymore. So um, this vanilla is so nice. The bourbon vanilla, the nutmeg, the wood. I really do enjoy that. But like I said, sometimes I spray it and I'm like, why do I like this again? I don't even know. All right. And my last three. So I talked about one of these the other day. I talked about the um, Venom of Love. Venom of Love. Yeah. So House of Navitus. It is still available. I strongly suggest you go get it. Please go get it. This is stunning. So your top notes are bitter almond and cherry brandy. Then you have chocolate cherry, Turkish rose, absolute Egyptian jasmine. Um, Turkish rose absolute and Egyptian jasmine absolute. Then almond cream, vanilla, and amber wood. Y'all, this is just... Mm. She's sexy. This is a sexy cherry chocolate. You are not messing around when you walk into a room. You are not messing around. Mm -mm. Sexy. Next one. I've talked about this one before. Absolutio from Nav Navutus. This one is almond, saffron, cinnamon, apple, toffee, Ambergine, oak moss, caramel, chocolate, driftwood, and musk. Also, ooh, mm hmm. It, oh, it's so pretty. There's that sweetness in here. The saffron, oh my god. You guys just. Navitus just creates some beautiful freaking fragrances and um I think you can get um you can get the um explore discovery um so if you can get discovery with these guys in here please do so I just and this one you guys I had do you see I've had this for a year and it has changed. It's just like wax. It has to just kind of sit and cure. And sometimes I can out of the bottle, yes, but these are heavier, heavy hitters. Um, and this has changed tremendously. I love this so much. Love it. All right. And nah, nah, last but not least. And now is chocolate queen. You have worn that one a few times. This one is dark chocolate, hazelnut, dulce leche, chocolate fudge, Irish cream, caramel, bitter almond, praline, vanilla absolute, amberwood, and sandalwood. Ooh, you are a chocolate, decadent, edible piece of human but because of the sandalwood and because of this um, the amberwood and the sandalwood and the way that they have created this it's not like you just jumped in a pool of chocolate okay 
people are going to know that it's chocolate, but they're going to be like, what? Uh, someone smells fantastic. What is that? It's a perfume. It is not chocolate powder or chocolate sauce all over you, but you are a tasty freaking snack. Oh, so good. So good. So you guys, that is it. That's all that's on my top shelf. We got three more to go. I might do one at the end of the week. I don't know. Um, what has made it easier for me, however, is I did look up all these notes in my Fragrantica and I did label it. Makes it so easy so that I can just go, okay, what am I in the mood for? And, and just really remind myself of what the notes are in here. It's also fun to do. Um, so that's, I got to do that with all these other ones. I have that not done that yet, but, um, thank you guys so much for watching. And if you have stuck through this hour long perfume for shelf, <laughs> top shelf, um, not that these other ones, like they're, it's all mixed in here. I call it the top shelf cause it's the top shelf. That's all. Um, Yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I enjoy sharing my fragrance with people. I know it's crazy. Um, I have, I can't remember the last time I purchased a perfume because I really want to enjoy what I have and I have really curated. Um, I, I still have like a box of perfume that, um, I'm waiting. I have some friends coming over because I still go through them every now and they go, yeah, you know what? Uh, this is not for me and I will just put it in a box to give to friends and family. So I am always curating, but I have not purchased a new perfume in a while because I really enjoy what I have and I just have so much fun just going in here and I will spray perfume before I walk the dog. And then, you know, a few hours later when I take a shower, I'll spray a different perfume and then if I can't smell it near the evening, I will spray another perfume because why not? I love it. I love scent. I just love the way just, it just, I love it. So <gasps> trying to get out. I'm trying to do my outro. <laughs> okay. Thank you guys for watching. Um, I appreciate it. Be kind in the comments. I know it's a lot of perfume. I know that. And, um, and not everyone, um, needs this much perfume. I don't need this much perfume, but I enjoy it and I have worked really hard for it. So thank you guys so much for watching again, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.